All right, all right. Money date. Anna is here. I'm gonna try to do this again. My connection to the Wi-Fi was really bad when I was down there by the beach, so I'm in my room. I still want to give you this awesome view, and then we're gonna dive in. This is Wednesday, and usually we talk about money, and we get together for a money date. Hi, hi, Luann. Thanks for joining. So here is my beautiful view. Isn't it awesome? I love it. It just got here. So this is the island of Maui. And we are looking at Molokai. I think that it's the island right across from us right there. And as my husband was telling me earlier, I think that's the island that Larry, the, the guy that owns Oracle. I'm forgetting the name. <laughs> yeah, this is the one that he um, just bought recently and it's due for some major build up and upgrade but it's um it's a deserted island so anyway how is it doing i'm sorry about the bad internet connection so i'm going to try to set back here and connect to my um proper wi-fi but while still giving you some view of what i'm looking at oh this is gorgeous i wish i had time um to get into um, the ocean but i probably still do um, I just got to have a money date with you first, and then I'll go have fun when I am not online. So how is everybody doing? I hope well. Oh, it's been quite a day. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a better connection um, at the beach, but the views are amazing. So we'll switch a little bit to that. So you get to actually stare at me for a little bit, and I'll switch it up. So... Here's what we do here at Money Days. I do have my, my Mai Tai. By the way, you can't have, you can't be in Maui and not have a Mai Tai. So I'm going to have a sip and then I'll focus on the good stuff. Okay, a Money Date. So what does actually happen on Money Date? Well, here we go. Let me just make sure that I can see who is joining and I can see your comments. All right. So every Wednesday, we get together for a money date and then we talk about our finances. I try to teach you something new, but the most important piece, hi Alexi, here's the money date, I'm on. Had some challenges with um, internet here. Apparently it's a bit slow in Maui. So what we discuss on the money date is actually how we've done in looking back at the last week and the three big questions we ask ourselves and this could be done while you're watching me talk, or I would prefer that you actually do this on your own and start tracking this. So the three questions that we ask are, how much money did we make in this last past week? How much money did we spend, right? The weekend, the weekend tends to be the hardest for everybody. Do we even pay attention to that? And then do we have a savings goal? How much money did we actually save? And are we on track of getting to that goal so if you're not tracking that if this is the first time you're joining us for a money date this is this is the whole idea right it's it's checking in with ourselves to make sure that we stay on track other than that we have a whole lot of fun and talk about fun topics so what I want to talk today about is change I want to talk about change in our professional careers change in jobs and how does that affect our finances Okay, so and I usually start with a cool quote and I do have a quote for you today. So let me just find my notes and I can share it with you. So here it goes. Change is hard at first, right? And I think everybody can agree with that. So change is hard at first. It's misery in the middle, but it's gorgeous at the end. I don't know who the author is of this quote, but if you think about every time you try to make a change in your life, wasn't it scary? I'm going to give you a little bit of a view. Wasn't it scary for you to do that? It's almost like you didn't want to do it, right? Because, because it was just uncomfortable. But, but you just knew deep down inside that if you did it, it was going to be something big, something exciting you can accomplish. So if you feel like you're stuck, right, and you can't move, You've got to do something, whatever it is. So this is my view from the, our hotel room. Unfortunately, I wanted to be down there by the beach, but I can't because the connection is so terrible. So you get to look at this view. Look at this island right over there. The sunset is 
about to happen, maybe another hour or so. So embrace it. That's my advice. Embrace the change because that's the only way I think you need to live the life. Now, I'm not preaching here personal development. I'm talking about finances because all of that very closely relates to your finances. Okay. So, but before I dive in, I'd like you to type in the chat and let me know what is your money win for the week, right? Because we do want to recognize and appreciate the good things that happen. Because if you think about it, everything we do in our life has to do with finances. And if we don't pay attention, if we don't stop, pause, evaluate, then how are we going to appreciate? So I'll share my money win because I always do. And you're welcome to share yours. So mine is obviously, as you can see, this, ob this awesome, awesome view. And here's Yuri joining us. So wherever you are, thanks for watching. I know you're not here with me, but I'm in the room trying to get some good Wi-Fi connection. So my money win for the week is that we are here on this awesome vacation, but also our friends are getting married on Friday, Andre and Elena. And we're thrilled and excited because this was the wedding we wanted to have right there on the beach an awesome ceremony right just the two of us so but we get to participate in their wedding we got to participate in organizing their wedding so i'm thrilled and excited so let's dive deep and talk about actually what can you do oh this is the first time that we're here this is a, um first time this is the third time that we're visiting maui and the first time that it's so windy that it's like it's it, it's strange i'm not used to seeing maui this way okay so let me just get back to my to my computer here so i can plug in my phone and make sure that my battery doesn't die and then we can um we can dive deeper so i want to discuss with you some of the tips i have because changing careers or jobs is something that is just in the it's just going to happen it's, it's meant to be for everybody. We live in a world where staying at one job for a very long time, although, Alexi, you've been at your job for some time. I have been at mine for a number of years, and it's, I have a business. It's not even like I have a job. I have a career and I have a business. So, but even with that, right, there are definitely some internal changes. So I want to talk about from the perspective of, of what happens with our finances if you do transition, because you hear this constantly that people have side hustles, right? You can be driving for Uber, or um, you, know, you can be starting a side business along with having a full-time job. So what are the, some financial moves you can make to make sure that you're properly prepared? Now, I know you're gonna hate me for this one, right? And I beat you up every money day, pretty much, I think. If it's not money day, then it's uh, probably on the daily juice, but number one advice I have is you've got to maintain a a healthy emergency fund. I call that a curveball account. Hi, Alex. Hi, Raphael. Thanks for joining. So uh, an emergency fund. Why do we need to have an emergency fund? I, you know, and actually a good example I have, and this has happened to me just this week. I had an emergency, had to go see a dentist and I had to pay a lot of money out of pocket because I was in pain and I had to, ha to have my teeth to be fixed, okay? So that's where the emergency fund comes in. But think about if you're making a life transition, if you're changing jobs. So what happens, what happens to your overall finances? Because that's an interruption to your normal flow. So if you don't have a healthy emergency fund, and what does that mean? That means three to six months worth of living expenses. That's it. Right? It's probably easier said than done, but at least you start with that. Because then if you come to a point in your life where you sort of trying to figure out or deciding whether you want to change or make, you know, make whatever adjustments you have to do, you have the financial support you need to make those changes. Okay? So I will start with that. Hi Sveta, hi Sam, thanks for joining. So number one always always and i can talk about hundreds of topics in personal finances that will always lead for us to have an emergency fund i know it's boring but it's like the most basic thing and if we can't master it you're going to struggle all the way okay so let me show you guys the view since you just joined i love it there we go here's the mountains in the back you can see 
a little bit of um so we are in maui in lahaina a little town called lahaina so maui is fairly big um island but it's not as populated on sort of across it's not evenly populated so some some parts of it are so we are i guess in more touristy location i get if you if you want to say that but it's still amazing oh my gosh the sunsets are beautiful beautiful and this hotel I will try to do another video if the connection allows me. It has amazing ceremony, so every every evening at sunset, I will give, won't give it away anymore. But um, you just have to tune in for more. So okay, so we've got our emergency fund in place. Next, what we want to do if you're changing jobs, right, and you have an employer that's offering you a benefits package. What are some of the benefits that I see my clients, right, and on my day-to-day -day basis I work with clients and I look at their finances so what do they do what do they actually oversee and when deciding I guess deciding what employer to work for or just kind of you know plainly accepting a job offer so here's some advice I have for you as far as employee benefits right it, it's definitely applicable to some of my clients or even you guys who are uh, business owners right? you don't have to work for a company you can still be you can still be um, getting all these benefits um, just because I, 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 I get those anyway. So two things, actually three things. Make sure that you are saving enough for a retirement plan, okay? That's, that's kind of number one priority. I know a lot of you are focused on paying the debts off, but what's not on your side is actually time. So you have to allocate your resources to make sure that you, if the employer is offering a 401k match, you've got to make sure that you take an advantage of that, right? So check out and see if the benefit package offers you an employer match and save at least as much as that employer match. Number two, disability, okay? So if you don't have a long-term disability, and this is more of a set topic that many people don't want to talk about, but you know what? It's life, okay? And I want to face it just the way it is. Because we nobody is insured, right? Unless you take the steps against those kinds of things. So long-term disability is one of the typical benefits an employer offers to their employees. So if you don't have that benefit or you haven't signed up for it, what are you waiting for? Usually the open enrollment season for most benefits happens in, no, in November, October, November, maybe middle of December every year. So if this is sort of a reminder for you, I need you to look into something like that. Now, the latest hot benefit that I see that's sort of popping out everywhere, and I just came from a conference in Vegas on employee benefits, it's actually something called the legal plan. Right, and so you might think, oh, who needs a legal plan? Well, um, there's lots of benefits. I'm not going to go over that. I'm not trying to sell you a legal plan, but what I'm trying to point out that a lot of times the legal plan offers an option to have an estate planning set of documents because those tie into financial plan very, very closely. Okay, and I'm talking about making sure you have a will. For those of you, Alexi, who have kids, you need to make sure that you name guardians, right? What if something were to happen to both of you? Who is going to take care of your kids? If it's not written down, it is not a plan. And only an attorney, right, a qualified, certified specialist can help you with those things. So usually those legal plans, and again, you don't have to. I just want to make sure that I, you understand you don't have to be employed by somebody because those options exist outside of working for an employer. If you're self-employed, there's lots of options as far as how you can get access to a qualified legal advice. But I'm talking about a basic set of things, of, of estate planning documents, a will, um, durable power of attorney, a health care form, just at the very minimal, okay? So now, for, for my business owners or self-employed individuals, so those of you who have side hustles, take a look at what's really missing in, in your overall selection of benefits. I know most of you have health plans, but what else? Do you have life insurance in place? Can you get life insurance in place? Maybe you need to quit smoking or whatever other health changes you have to make so that you can qualify for those benefits. Because again, it's much easier to embrace the change that you're trying 
to go through when you have the solid financial background. That's there's lots of other topics I can talk to to you about today, but those are some of the basics that I think all of us can um, just kind of look at. And then one last thing, right? If you have an employer retirement plan at your old job or two jobs before that you've even forgotten, why don't you look into doing something with it? Does your new employer offer good options for you to choose from? Or should you just roll it over into a completely outside of employer set up retirement account, like an IRA? Okay? So just I wanna start you I want to for you to start thinking about those things. Okay? It may not be the, the answers that you get from me today, but at least you're gonna start thinking and researching because those things that it just kind of sit in the back burner and sort of get stale is, is and I see this a lot as I look through a lot of clients, you know, financial plans and I review, review a lot of employee benefit booklets. So those are my tips. I think as I can hear this, uh, let me go back to the, um, here to the balcony. I think the ceremony is about to start. I don't know if I can transmit it well, but um, I'm gonna try to keep this short. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought and um, I, I will be coming in again. Shoot, I wish I was there. Um, <laughs> you guys are funny. I wish I was down there so I can actually show you the ceremony. But anyway, think about the change. You can embrace it, right? And all I want for you is the solid financial foundation. So that's the, that's the bottom line of my message today. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys next week. But tune in for more of Money Dates. Alex, thanks so much for joining. Take care, everybody. Last week at my view today.